so you read the title. It's time to stop my Miata from being a bathtub. And guess what? This time, I'm not wearing any pants. I'm wearing shorts, which is a rare sight. But it's hot out here, so um, Colorado's getting to that part of the season where it's just absolutely on fire. It's July. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to stop the soft top from leaking today. I did some research on some little hacks, some little tricks, and uh, I think we have a solution here, and it involves, like, $5 worth of foam. <laughs> uh, we'll see if this works. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. It's going to be the most expensive part on the Miata. We've got backer rod, um, which is basically meant for um, something. I don't know what it's for, actually. <laughs> it says for, uh, you'll see right here, it says for, for gaps and joints <laughs> joints um all right let's give it a shot so basically the apparent fix for this is that you just take off the weather lining or the weather stripping on the top of the soft top and where that actually is meeting with the window that's where that leak is happening so you have to take it out and replace the old foam in there with new foam basically and it makes a better seal let's give it a shot all right so i think we got some little foam bits in here maybe not maybe this is foamless and that could be why we're having issues. It definitely seems like it. All right, well, that's uh, not too bad. Let's go ahead and grab the actual foam. I need scissors. We're gonna go and find them. We're just gonna go ahead and measure this. Just kind of eyeball it a little bit. Maybe around there. Luckily, we have a ton. So if we mess up, not that big of a deal. Alright, now I'm understanding why people say to cut these a little bit. And this is just a 5 8 backer rod. I think they also call it like caulk preserver or something like that. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that does feel a lot better, not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead and try to put this back on. All right, so we got the front back on, um, except I forgot to press record, which is always a damn shame. But um, definitely thicker, which is good. But now we're gonna move to this back section here just to uh, be safe about it and get some foam in there too. Oh, yep. This one actually has the old foam. Cool. You guys will actually see the old foam in here. It is this tiny little piece here. So this gets worn out and just crushed over time. So it ends up actually making the weather stripping more slender so it doesn't seal as well. At least that's the theory behind it. But um, yeah. That's what was supposed to be in the other one, and it wasn't there, so definitely makes sense why we were having some issues with the leaks. All 
All right, so it actually looks like it is sealing a little better. It's actually like pinching towards the front here, which I might need to push the metal back a little bit. There's like these little flanges back there, but I have a sneaking suspicion that we're still going to see a leak right there. And we still have the issue. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, that didn't work quite as well as I had hoped, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, it did seem to kick out the um, the weather stripping a little bit. It seems like there's a little bit better seal there, but as I was going back through and looking at it, there looked to be some old uh, adhesive that would keep the trim in place. So I went ahead and ran over that with some silicone sealant. Uh, it's got to dry before we test it again, but I'm really hoping that that does the trick. Um, it's been kind of a pain having that leak in there, so we will see. But as always, I upload every Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support you're giving, and we will see you in the next one.